This is a short video to give you an overview of the integration between BrightPearl and Shopify. So this graphic shows all the data transferring between the two systems. On the left hand side we've got Shopify and on the right hand side we've got BrightPearl. Once you've connected your store up to BrightPearl, you can download products from Shopify at any time. So it's not just for setting up, it's also if you add new products to the business. And there's a separate video that shows you how to do this. So the whole integration revolves around product SKUs and it's important for both of your systems to have SKUs on every single product. When products are downloaded into BrightPearl, all the reference data is created automatically for you. So when customers place an order on your Shopify store, Shopify tells BrightPearl that a new order is ready to download. That's downloaded into BrightPearl and if the email address is not recognised in BrightPearl, a new contact is created. If the customer already exists with the same email address, that order will be put onto their contact record. If you've got any stock available, then that available inventory will be allocated to that sales order. If the customer is paid by card or by PayPal, then we also create a sales receipt in BrightPearl. This is optional, so you can turn this on or off. If you pay by card, the sales receipt will go into one account. And if you pay by PayPal, you can set the system up for the sales receipt to go into a different bank account in BrightPearl. It's important to mention we create the sales receipt on BrightPearl regardless of whether Shopify marks it as authorised or pending. So if you have your own workflow, bear that in mind. So when you update inventory in BrightPearl, either increase or decrease inventory, we push those levels across to Shopify. And it's the on-hand level in BrightPearl that we send across to Shopify. And you can choose whether that on-hand level comes from one warehouse, some of your warehouses, or all of your warehouses. And BrightPearl updates Shopify typically within a couple of minutes. Again, this relies entirely on the systems having the same SKU for the same product. When you've processed an order, in other words, created a shipment or a goods out note in BrightPearl and added tracking references, when you actually ship that shipment, we send the shipment information across to Shopify. Shopify will then tell the customer that the order has been shipped. So that's the information that transfers between the two systems. Let me also spend some time looking at a bit of the detail we've got here on the right hand side. So you can have as many Shopify stores as you like connected to your BrightPearl account and each Shopify store is set up as a sales channel. We support sales tax and VAT, we support discounts and coupons on Shopify and these come through to BrightPearl as line items. We respect the customer's choice of receive emails or not in the Shopify checkout as well as guest checkout on Shopify. So we'll get a contact in BrightPearl CRM regardless of what they choose during checkout. The shipping method chosen in Shopify is also respected. This is downloaded as a line item and if it matches one in BrightPearl then it's also set on the order. Any delivery message chosen on Shopify is downloaded into BrightPearl as an order note. If your products have got customised extra information such as engraving or a monogram or perhaps a file upload then that extra information is also transferred into BrightPearl. It comes through as an extra line on the product name. So if you've got multiple Shopify stores in different currency, that's also supported. So you might have a US dollar store, a Canadian dollar store and a Euro store. They all come through into BrightPearl with the correct currency. What we don't do is push product information from BrightPearl to Shopify. So we push inventory levels, but we don't do price updating we don't create products on Shopify, or we don't do any product content management on Shopify. And then at the end of the day, when you ship the orders, we don't automatically capture the payments in Shopify. You'll need to go into the Shopify system and complete that process. So that's the overview of the integration. There are more videos that show you each of these steps in detail.